Hello everyone! Hello! We're going to show you today how the body digests food. So we're going to eat today a little banana and a piece of bread and we're going to have a glass of milk as well. So first thing we do is when we put it into our mouth we start to snip it with our incisors which are our front teeth to make it into smaller chunks just like this. And then we have a drink. Can I chop that? Yeah, can you chop that one up with the incisors? And then we also, if, we're, if the food's really tough, then we rip the food with our canines, which are our sharp teeth, and they've re got really long roots, and they can help us to break the food down. And then once the food has gone to the back of our mouths, we've got premolars and molars, which can then sm mash the food. So I'm going to use my potato uh, masher to mash the food up, just like you would in your mouth. Okay, so you've got your, and you've had your glass of milk as well, okay, but also in your mouth you've got lots of spit, which is up, the technical word is saliva, and the saliva mixes in, it's got some special things called enzymes in there, which start to break down the food. So as soon as you put food in your mouth, you start to digest it. Okay, once you've ground it up and it's small enough, I think that's enough, let's see. Once it's small enough to swallow, it goes down the tube down your body here, which is called the esophagus. And then it reaches a little hole called the sphincter and enters your stomach. Okay, and it goes into your stomach. Now, the sphincter is very clever because inside your stomach, you've got some very, very horrible acids, which can... They can, the ten, they can actually dissolve an iron nail because they're that strong. Okay, so this, I'll put some vinegar here, which is going to represent that acid. It's going to start to break down all of the food. And then you've got some digestive juices. I'm going to pour that one in. Ooh, and it goes everywhere. There we go. And then your, your stomach starts to contract and digest it all around and mashes it up into a fine liquid. You all can see that horrible, and got a lovely smell and a mess everywhere. Okay, but because inside your stomach, that's all happening. Okay, and it, st and it stays in there for about two hours. So from your mouth down to your esophagus, into your stomach, it's about two, and then if it's something that's really hard to digest, it might be up to five, uh, five hours. It's great. One of the technical things as well is if you stood on your head and swallowed, you can still reach your stomach because it travels through something called peristalsis, which is where the muscles contract. Okay, once it's been in the stomach and it's mashed up, oh, we've got a little bit more to add in. Fantastic. Okay, it doesn't look very nice at the moment, does it? Okay, then it, it reaches your small intestines. Now I've got some of Essie's old tights here and a little hole at the end. Okay, and I'm going to tie a knot there so nothing goes down the wrong leg. <laughs> Put some more in. You can if you want. Okay, so your small intestines are after your stomach, and it could be called your du duodenum. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Okay. So in here, then the food enters your small intestines, and your small intestines then start to digest your food and absorb all of your food. So what we're going to try and do, let's see, is we're going to try and pour all that food over the tray into here. Do you want to have a go? How about this? That's, your di that's more digestive juices. Okay, do you want to pour that in as well? Ready? Ooh. Okay, and now, the stomach's been emptied and it's now all inside the small intestines. And you can see that the absorption, absorption starts to happen. So the food is being, all the juices come out and actually more digestive juices, juices enter as well. So can you pour that down, Essie, as well? Lovely. Okay. And through the side, and then, and it, comes all the way down. Again, peristalsis is squeezing that out. And you've got all those juices going all, and it eventually comes out of the end. Why 
but remember it's because that's what happens inside your small intestines now small intestines are and they can have, are all rambled up inside here and they are <laughs> up to nine nine meters long poop? well six meters long okay uh. not yet it's not poop yet okay we're just going to put it through once more okay and then it enters your large intestines. So what I'm going to do here is because the large intestines is really important because they do most of the absorption. So in your small intestines, lots of this, lots of the food is still being digested, but then the absorption happens mainly in the large intestines. So it enters the large intestines. I'm going to imagine that this is the large intestines. And I put the paper on there to show that it's the stuff being absorbed. So I'm going to squeeze all of that out. When is it poo? Okay, and we should have mashed up a little bit more, possibly. But, and it's not poo yet. Okay, there we go. Then, so what we're going to do now is there's lots of squeezing going on. I just I forgot to mention actually inside the small intestines is something called villi, and villi are like little tiny microscopic fingers that go on to uh, uh, are in inside your body, and they help with the absorption of all the different bits. So the small intestines squeeze it and squeeze it and squeeze it. Okay, and they dry it all out, and then finally. It reaches right to the bottom after the large intestines, which go around here. They're about one and a half meters long. It could be called your colon. They enter the funny word that everyone learns is the, the anus. Okay, and then your anus is there. And then you've got a little hole. And when it's ready, the poo's ready to come out. Okay, it will. See if I can show you nice and close. Do you want to come a bit closer? I see. We'll get a little plate, shall we? I'm going to hold that there so everyone can see. A bit higher. Higher. There we go. Okay, and then, out, so this whole process takes anything between 24 and 48 hours. And that then, looks like you're talking two hours now. And then you. <laughs> then that's the poo coming out. And then this doesn't look like a very healthy poo. But the whole process took 24 hours. And that is how the body digests food.